hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, and when you get sick, are you like a whining little baby? Or are you like some kind of big man or woman that just toughs it out, does what you need to do? That's right. And Red Breast, 12-year, single pot still Irish whiskey. Test it! All right, right now Scott is a little under the weather. I had to like drag him out here, but you usually like to have a crowd around you when you're sick. Negative. You? <laughs> no, no, not at all. No, I'm very, and I brought this topic up to Bart um, because I've realized when I'm sick that I'm very independent. I don't want anybody around. Hmm. I like to take care of myself. If I need something, I'll get it. Now your mom and dad live locally, so like your mom doesn't rush over with a bowl of chicken no. soup. Mm -mm, and I don't want her to. She didn't bring your old blanket? No. Tuck you in? Nope. Make you feel good? Leave me alone and I'll get <laughs> back, back with you in a couple days. Uh, I would say, yeah, I'm probably generally the same way. I mean, I, I mean, and yeah, I'd just soon be alone and probably sleep a lot is what yeah. I'm doing. Yeah. And now, see, I can tie mine back, though, to one single incident. Hmm. Um, and that was when I was like seven or eight. I mean probably first grade, second grade. I had stayed home from school. I wasn't feeling good. Uh, by yourself? By myself. That's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> Not back then. Yeah, you many, can do anything. Many moons ago in a small town. Oh, please. A small town. All, all rules are off. So <laughs> <clears throat> I had stayed home and uh, mom and dad had gone to work. Um, it's about nine o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. I get up and throw up. Oh. It's very traumatizing when you're yeah, well, yeah, it's still traumatizing to me. But <laughs> I'm 44. Yeah. So, I I get on the horn. I call mom. A slang. That's, that's slang for telephone. Small this town. Is, this is Bart symbol for no, telephone. By that he, he rang up the <laughs> operator, and they were like, hey, "Mom, get mom on." Get mom on the line. <laughs> Mrs. Smith is on here already. It's a party call. That's right. Scott is sick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Hey, mom. <laughs> I just threw up. Well, take some Pepto Bismol and go back to bed. I'm at work. <laughs> Click. I'm, literally, I'm like, Mom. Survive. Mom. Thrive. So, ever since I've been hmm. independent, I'll take care of myself when I'm sick. I don't need anybody around. Yeah, I'd say I lean that way. Have you ever known anybody that was like, had to have some? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I had an old roommate that was very dependent, very whiny. Ugh. Oh. Oh, just. Really? So Brutal. He's, what, he wanted he would, you to take care no, of him? No, I didn't. His girlfriend would be around, yeah. and he would just want, he wanted her with him all the time. Uh, really? Yeah. When he's sick? Yeah. Hmm. Because he was used to mama taking care of him. Okay. All right. Needed somebody there. Maybe if you're one of those people, hey, whatever you need to get through the illness. That's right. But yeah, my whole family got hit by the flu. My hair hurt. Okay. I wanted mm -hmm. nobody. When your hair hurts, I don't want anybody around. And I am the Yeti. So when my hair hurts, it's That's like your a whole body. Yeah. It's like a full body a ache. Full body hurt. <laughs> the whole house here got the it's flu. It's like the movie, The Hurt Locker. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. That's it. But the whole house had the flu, all but one. And when I say flu, I'm not just. Like, I'm serious, we had influenza. The house, mm. yeah, the whole house resembled an opium den mm. from the early 1900s. <laughs> People were just la passed out different stages yeah. of dress. Pokemon was on Netflix running nonstop, and I would just like come to look at it and be like, that's freaky, and then I'd be like, back out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. red breast. It's going to something more pleasant. But yeah, I don't, need, I don't need anybody tucking me in. A little bit of chicken soup. Yeah, from the, if the wife wanted to make some chicken soup, hey, that's cool. Yeah, I suppose. But I don't, I don't like. But give it to me, and then yeah, I don't need her spoon it. feeding it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another spoon of the chicken soup. Now, real quick, Red Breast Twelve. First of all, I'm going to tell you if you've ever listened to Whiskey Cast with Mark Gillespie, you almost have to go buy this. All right, I'm usually not susceptible to advertising. I recognize the advertising, and I'm like, eh. Oh, goodness, that's squeaky. But on this one, if you're listening to Whiskey Cast, this guy comes on with a, with a great Scottish accent that's worked at the distillery. And he's all, like, my favorite one is like, when I first started at, the, and I can't do the accent, but when I first started at the distillery, I was told uh, as we were taking uh, several casts down to the whatever, uh, that it was liquid gold that was in the cask. 
And of course, what they meant was red breast. And I was like, yeah. man, I got to get this. Actually, he, that. that was like a, the Cliff Notes <laughs> version and like the sped <laughs> yeah. up version. It, it takes like two minutes yes. for him to go through this. It's oh, a wonderful, beautiful yes. story advertising. It they're, is. They're talking it up. And, and yeah, we had listened to, yeah, I had cool. heard uh, Mark Gillespie, his, his, the commercials, him pushing, not pushing it, Push. but just, just talking about it. And it, I'd seen it in the liquor store. It's a 12 year. And to me, it was priced kind of high. Yeah. And it's an Irish whiskey. Year. It's an Irish whiskey. And I thought, ah, I just, I'm, I'm not going to buy it yet and try it. I got it. Bart finally <laughs> bit the bullet. Yeah. I was like, I've got to get me some red brass. And he brought it over and I got to tell you, it's worth every penny. Yeah. For it is amazing for a 12 year whiskey. We'll, we'll get into that yes. a little bit, but yeah, I was amazed by it. Now, as you know, we've been getting, uh, we've been spending more time with our whiskeys before we review them. So one reason we had to get this review done is that I had about knocked half this bottle out. I told Scott that if we didn't get the video shot on it, it might be gone by the time we review. Yeah. <laughs> so it moved so to the had, front uh, of the line. We have a few other ones to review before this one, but Red Breast got pushed up so Bart can finish off the bottle. Right. Now we've been taking notes on this. I got to tell you, one of the most amazing deals is the note is a, a sweet, like a sweet vanilla and maple for me. Mm-hmm. Mm I got um, I got a very slight, almost a sherry uh, smell to it, a vanilla cream, and then uh, not in a bad way, but I did get a little bit of a fingernail polish on hmm. my nose. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. A little bit of acetone. I didn't really pick that up until you mentioned mm -hmm. it, but and it's still there. But that sweetness, that uh, that vanilla, it's got me salivating a little bit. And uh, on the taste, have you tasted? No, no, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and add, mm -hmm. add a mm. drop of water. I forget where we're at with our percentage here. It's 42%, I think, on this one, AB. 40. Okay, 40. So I got to tell you, I like it neat because of that. It, yeah. It to me, it low. needs uh, no water, um, maybe a drop I might add in, but usually not even that. I've been drinking it neat because it's already, to me, it's already kind of down there a little bit. Right off the bat, neat, I get a, a, a creamy, buttery, uh, kind of finish to it. It's just got that sweet almost butterscotch for me. It does it right at the beginning it has a little bit of a nutty start But that that creamy finish is what's been bringing me back to this um, I actually Noticed I was even draining it down and I decided to switch to something that was peaty. That's a mistake by the way <laughs> You don't want to you don't want to go from a buttery creamy vanilla soft sweet and then shift like harsh right into a peat monster because i was like woo it almost like moved me <clears throat> off a of peat what are you getting um well the night that we tasted it neat i did note that it was very palatable at oh, the 40 yeah. percent which to me is 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 a very good a neat neat drink um i did note that it's bursting with flavor there's so much in there and that's where i got for a 12 year it's amazing that this was a 12 year it felt like it had spent much more time in the cask mm -hmm. to develop some of the flavors that are in there um, i did get a vanilla cream a little bit of a sherry hint and and, and also that buttery finish that you know mm. when i add in oh yeah all right it's I gotta admit, when you add in a touch of water, it spices it up. It must release a little something for me. I get a little bit more of a spicy note There's that a comes bit, through. A little bit of a spice in there. It it uh, almost diminishes that buttery flavor on the tail end, but it, right in the middle, it gives me a real, I'm telling you, it's like butter. I get a little bit of that butter right in there in the middle. And um, you know, this is one thing, you know I usually lean for the peats. Mm -hmm. I was I was really surprised by this. This is like um, this is almost like a comfort scotch for me. It's very it's delicious. So um, I can't like I say, and I still can't believe this is a twelve year. There's mm -hmm. so much flavor that's that's packed into this. Now my um, um, my malt mark. Are you ready for that yet, yeah. or am I jumping you? No. Sure. Um, I actually I, I wrote it down right as I was trying it and experiencing it the night that we were trying it out. And when I, when I noted it, I actually thought, man, that's too high. That's too high for a 12 year Irish. And, uh, and I kept thinking it would come down and it hasn't. And why don't you show yours first? Cause I gotta, I'm seeing what you got out there. And that's exactly what I just put out on mine, 90. And we'll always, we rate them uh, individually first, mm -hmm. and then we see where the other one was at. And that one, we came in both at a 90, yeah. which is, it, I mean, it is an excellent, 
whiskey. Yeah, if I remember right, I kind of I noted my my mark because we don't like try to compare or sometimes we're wildly different. And I just thought, man, I'm too high. And I kind of was almost shy about telling you my score. And you're like, no, that's what I got. And I was like, wow. So um, it is pricey. What are we talking about? $67? It is. Yeah, it's a pro, yeah, it's, yeah, it was up there. But I'm going to have to try the next uh, the next one up yeah, because uh, I was extremely impressed mm -hmm. with, uh, with this. And I think I'm pretty sure there's a 15 year that is kind of the standard 15, 18, 21 yeah. years. Now, I will yeah. say, if mom brought over red breast when I was sick, <laughs> Man. Yeah. I can put up with some company. That's all I'm saying. Hey, I'm over here. I'm, I'm here. Bing, ding, 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 ding. Let me in. And I'll be like, oh. I'd yep. open it up. She's like, some chicken soup and some red breast. I'd be like, oh. I know. There's been last night was one. <laughs> I did not drink anything. And I did not feel like drinking. And there's been a couple of nights right. here lately where it's, mm, it wouldn't matter. Now, really? She might if be your welcome. mom showed up with red breast, you'd be yeah. like, go away? Yeah. Send her over to my house. I'll fake a sniff. I'll like, just hold on like, to it for later. Take it with oh, you. Oh, no, no. Bart's go. sick. Go. Bart isn't feeling good. <laughs> he said he needs some red breast 12 years. So, all right, guys. Pick you up some red breast 12 year. Delicious. It is great. Scotch, well worth it. It is Scotch Test Dummies. See you guys out there. Oh, don't forget when you're sick, scotch it. <laughs> yeah, try it. See you later. Cilantro. All right, Dumbest. drink responsibly. See you guys later.